I'm going to bring him to the stage. I, I enjoy seeing him up here every time, and I know you guys are going to enjoy him too. How about a big round of applause for Dan Walsh? Let him know, Dan! Whoa! Hello, everybody. I promise I'll be quick. Four to five minutes. That's all it takes for me to get off. Uh, when I was six, my dad would walk me to school every day. And he would say, pay attention, son, and you'll be allowed to walk to school by yourself one day. Out the front door, stay on the sidewalk, go five blocks, walk into school. Finally, the day came I was allowed to walk to school by myself. Ten years later, I'm trying. <laughs> go out the front door, stay on the sidewalk, go five blocks, stop at Doug's house, smoke a joint, <laughs> go to school. <laughs> The only thing I remember was about a month of geometry being high, and all they were talking about was pi. <laughs> so one day I'm walking to school, and my Uncle Bob pulls up and offers me a lift to school. I said, no, Uncle Bob, I can't. I'm not allowed to get in the car with strangers. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm your Uncle Bob. I was at your house for dinner last night. <laughs> well, Uncle Bob, Mom says you can't get much stranger than you. Well, do you want to ride to Doug's house and smoke a joint? Okay, let's go. <laughs> so I travel a couple times a year now, and uh, I like to play this game when I'm flying home to Sarasota. It's called Guess Which Gate. And I wander the airport, and I look for the gate with the most white hair, <laughs> the most walkers, and the most EMTs doing pre-flight CPR. <laughs> Clear! <laughs> That'll get you to Sarasota, sir. You'll be good. I recently had a birthday, I turned 44. Okay. That means in Sarasota years, I'm finally legally allowed to drink. I can't get to the bar till after five o'clock, so I keep missing happy hour and two for one shots of Metamucil. Now, you know, 44, I think I'm starting to have a midlife crisis. One, I started writing old age jokes about Sarasota. Two, I decided to buy a bike to ride around town on. But I said, I, I want to fit in, go cruising around, so I went and bought you know, some biker boots and a shirt, and I'm trying to grow the beard out. I'm not doing a very good job of that. But in this heat, I don't know how these guys do it. After three blocks of pedaling, I want to pass out. The Amish are crazy. Finally, I want to quit my day job. I want to become a magician. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, you're going, please, oh God, don't do magic. That is exactly what my wife says when I say, you want to go make something disappear in the bedroom? I know magic is like a fetish. Some people are into magic and some people are not. But as a magician, I usually have some magic props on me. Like I always have a foot or two of rope because, you know, some people like rope stuff. It usually does not take me this long to finish pulling my rope. <laughs> and my most important prop, my favorite prop, is, let's see if you can make appearance here. Ah, my tiny hand, Little Lefty Larry. <laughs> this guy has been a huge boost of confidence to me. <laughs> that one hurts itself, okay. Miss, can you help me out? No, sir, would you help me out? Someone? <laughs> Fine, you won't do that joke. <laughs> Again, he's been a huge boost of confidence because I would have never been able to do that before. Uh. Now, with this confidence, I have challenged Donald Trump to a tiny hand dexterity contest on Twitter. He has yet to respond, so over here. Now, but the real fun is like, okay, this is some great confidence here, so let's take this to the bedroom. It was going great. It was. Honey, oh my God. Yeah, your, look, your tits look amazing. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. And then, oh, oh, your ass, well, yeah, that's all right. But then it went all wrong. All wrong. Honey. I think you need to start doing kegels. Or you're a better magician than me because you made a hand disappear. <laughs> Next thing I know, 
I'm alone in the bathroom with my banana and tin hand. <laughs> Apparently she did not like being called a magician. Thank you. <laughs>